since 1948. The National Wrestling Alliance has historically been the largest sanctioning body in professional wrestling. I'm the big dog right around here. Everybody here that saw knows I'm the man of me. I'm the one climbing that ladder step by step. It doesn't matter who you are or where you came from. When you step in the ring, you know you can't turn your back on a man like me, Cameron Jack. Well, also speaking of big dogs, wait, wait a minute. What is that? Is that Judas Brody? It's from Josephus Brody, and now we've got an all-out brawl here in Millersville as these two just fighting tooth and nail here. James Chris Michaels tonight in this main event. Well, Chris Michaels shows no fear once more, but nobody home. And that's going to cost him right there. Look at me out of the way. Both men back to their feet. And we saw the attempt earlier. Whoopi D catches him. And bites him right there. Oh, what is that? The reverse DVD. Hook of the leg. And a three count. Whoopi D. Southern heavyweight champion Jason James. Your respect here. Wait a minute. Down the ramp. Look behind you, Jason James. Well, there's Dean Shane. Shane Williams in the ring now. And what is he doing? An assault from behind under the champion from Shane Williams. Once again, trying to make his name here in Southern All Star Wrestling. Wait a minute. A power Shane Williams walking out earlier on Hammerjack just to turn around. Hey, wait a wait minute. minute. What is Chris Michaels doing? Chris Michaels leaves the ring with no explanation whatsoever. Wolfie D helps a man up on a great match. Shane Williams comes down. Self-proclaimed king. Chris Michaels just see him leaving the curtain. I don't know what's gotten into Chris Michaels just leaving Wolfie D high and dry. And Ladies and gentlemen, Adrian Longoria here with Southern All-Star Wrestling. In the locker room right now, here's Chris Michaels. We're going to check out and see what's going on here. Hey, man, like I said, if you need any help out there tonight, you just let me know, okay? Chris Michaels, Adrian what? Longoria. What, what went on last I ain't ready to talk to you. Get out, get out of here. I said get out of here. Superstar! 
find things out, Jason James. A little party told me that the Saw International Heavyweight Champion, Vordell Walker, did not sign his contract with SAW. So what that means is, with Chris Michaels being the number one contender, I should be the new International Heavyweight Champion. The best lawyer money could buy. He has represented NFL superstars, NBA superstars, boxing, MMA, the list goes on and on. And I want to introduce to you right now, stand up on your feet and give this man the proper respect. Victor Van Glorious! You know what? I'm not surprised I come back to these shenanigans. These people wouldn't know greatness if you slapped them across the face with me. When Chris Michaels called me in, I knew he was something special from the very beginning. I'm tired of Chris getting screwed over just as much as he is. I'm here for one mission and one mission only, and that's to put the SAW International Championship around this waist because Victor Van Glorious takes care of business. Well, gentlemen, Chris, with all due respect, that sounds like some business that you should take care of with an authority figure here in SAW. I'm not part of management, I'm just a broadcaster, but I am getting word that you were scheduled for a match later tonight. However, that's been vetoed, and I'm getting the word that that match is going to take place right now. We've got your opponent standing by. Started right here, Solomon with Jason James. Well, that started off hot to say the least. My goodness, Chris Michaels, I check in the show, and we see coming out here Justin Greenberry is going to do battle with the headliner. Stone.com. Well, you say it too hard to announce it, Jake Jane. Except for a knuckle buster right here, it's a solid meal. Well, I don't understand. Chris Michaels is coming out here demanding answers to questions, and I have no authority answering. I have no idea where he got that rumor from. Well, apparently, according to Chris Michaels, a little birdie told him that. Bordell Walker has not re-signed a new contract here in SAW. He is your current international heavyweight champion. That leaves some questions unanswered. Hopefully we'll get to the bottom of that. But like I said, I'm not the person to answer those questions. I'll tell you what, Jason, neither am I. And the way you come out here just pulling you around like that's wrong. Well, let's try not to bring it up again. I just got over it here. Thanks, Nick. Appreciate it. No, it's traumatizing. And what's it? Up and over now from Granderberry. Did you see? Nice! Belly to belly suplex onto the headliner. It is hard clothesline to follow. Right hand. Did you see the air that boy got? Incredible broadcast we have for you. Like we mentioned, Southern Tag Team titles on the line. The Untouchables debut as a team. We've seen Drew Haskins. We've seen Jeremiah Puckett. We know there are forces to be reckoned with as a tag team. They're bound to be that much more unstoppable. Tonight, they go for Southern All-Star Wrestling Gold. Tag Team titles on the line. Nick Iggy and Kerry Offal defending against a very, very hard team. Well, I hope that Nick Iggy and Kerry Offal brought their A game because Haskins and Puckett just lie with putting on the B list. Chris Michaels now in control of Justin Granderberry puts him on the canvas. And this Granderberry is relatively new to Solomon. Don't know much about him here, Jason James. Well, he's stepping into the ring with a veteran and definitely going to have to uh, 
Keep that in mind in this contest with the headliner Chris Michaels, a man who has been around nearly three down, well, well over 20 years. I mean, you know. And demanding a little respect here at the yeah. Solomon and nice Chris Michaels is what he's doing. But after his actions last week, just leaving Wolfie's E high and dry, really? Yeah, I cannot believe that. We saw King Shane Williams as he assaulted Wolfie D from behind, leaving him laying in the middle of the ring with that pile driver. And after the show of respect, that's what I don't understand. After the show of respect from Wolfie D, helping Chris Michaels to his feet after defeating the man for the SAW Heavyweight Championship. And, and, and Michaels just to, to walk out, leave him high and dry. I'm, I'm just telling you, this is, it's not like the character of Chris Michaels that we used to know. Well, you know, you heard what he's saying. It feels he's underrated. Brenderberry now fights back onto the headliner, Chris Michaels. Victor Van, what is all oh, the hard clothesline? Some kind of attorney? Victor Van Glorious. Glorious, maybe? I'm going to try to get some skinny on this guy during the next commercial break. And wait a minute, super kick out from the headliner. And that's put many away in the past. And obviously, going to spell the end here for Justin Brandenberry as well. Chris Michael. It's Chris Michael's victorious. We take another look here at the Saw Rewind. And wait a minute. Wait a minute. Right here. We're going to I wasn't done talking till you had this truck. Come out here and waste my time. Jason James, I know he can hear me in the back, but in case he can't, you tell Mr. Reno Riggins that no good washed up used car salesman to get off his sorry fat <laughs> and walk down that ramp and bring me my international heavyweight title. What a disrespectful statement. I, I'm just a, I'm just a broadcaster, Chris. You I'm, tell him. He does serve it. Get him down. He does serve it. I'm waiting. He does the belt. Hell no. Where's the belt? Oh. Where's the belt? Hey, I ain't no he's on polyester suit. He's got to be sweating because he's trying so hard. Who pulls that with the suit on? <laughs> Chris Michaels, now is not the place nor time for you to come out here and air your dirty laundry. Yeah, it's it perfect time. <laughs> It seems like, hey, you know my cell number, you know where my office is, you have my office number. I live in that thing 24-7, six days a week. So if you want to talk about title shots, you come to me to my office, we'll talk about a title shot. But it seems like you should have other things on your mind besides title shots. After what I saw and witnessed you do last week here at the sawmill against Wolfie D, turning your back on him like a coward. He is a and then, what was, what was the conversation you had with Eric Andrews? I, I don't know what you're talking about, Reno, but that seems to be the problem. Somebody always wants Chris Michaels to worry about somebody else instead of himself. Oh, hey, you must think that I'm stupid. I know you've been having conversations with Eric Andrews, and if the thought even crosses your mind to stick your nose in my match tonight, I'm gonna cripple you. Do you understand? Do you understand me? Do you understand? Eric Andrews from behind just jumped Wolfie D. Him and Chris Michaels, Reno trying to break it up. Jason Jane, you barely escaped with your life on this. Oh, Reno, oh my goodness, you just shoved Reno Riggins to the ground. Eric Andrews with a blatant assault to Reno Riggins. Oh, no. I feel like I've just come out of the war zone. We've got officials coming out to break Reno this up. Reno calling for help as hard as he can. What a, what a start to the broadcast, Nick Nitrous. Can you believe the way this is over? Everybody says I didn't help Wolfie D last week. Andrews with a 
Michael Lee, 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 Michael Lee,
action going on. A wild one, and it's blocked from Alan Shepard. Iris rips, the big man reverses. You'll see this floaty with, with a close run. You'll see catches the drop kick. Drop kick. High drop kick. And you hear the crowd tonight, Jason James, and they're still packing in the sawmill as we speak. In comes Alan Shepard. Now Josephus on the 10 punches of doom from the top rope. Oh, wait a minute, Josephus Brody with a choke slam. What power from the big man. The choke slam's gonna be enough, gotta be. And there's a three count. Gets the three count, Josephus Brody victorious. As he took a look at the story. SAW, and tonight with me for the tag title match tonight against Kerry Offal and Nick Iggy, it's the very own, one and only, the Untouchables, Drew Haskins and Jeremiah Plunkett, and yes, even the manager, Jimmy Street. Gentlemen, what is going on? What is going on? What is going on with that introduction? I mean, look at us. Like you said, the one and only, the Untouchables, Jeremiah Plunkett, Drew Haskins, going on against your tag team champions. Introduce us like we're the new kids on the block. Look at us. Look at what the untouchables are. Look at your tag team champions. And look at you. And look at your champions. And look at us. You know why we haven't been around at SAW? We've been at this for over a year. Reason why we haven't been on TV? Is they don't want us on TV. Because we don't look like you. We're not related to you. And bottom line is, when you put real professionals <laughs> in the ring, we make kids like that yesterday's trash. You know what I see? What I see when I look at the tag team champions, yeah, I see some bums. I see a couple of guys that looks like they scrape them up the road and they throw them in a ring. But what I really see is a couple of kids who've never been in a fight. You see, you get in the ring with the untouchables and you're not in for a wrestling match. You're in for a fight. We're gonna beat you up, we're gonna beat you down, and then Drew Haskins gonna stretch you until you're six foot five. Tell him, Jimmy. Bring that in here, the untouchables. Merriam Webster defines exempt from criticism or control. What does that mean? It's next to perfection. Drew Haskins, Jeremiah Plunkett are just that. Unforgivable, unforgettable, untouchable. Folks, what more can we say? Don't miss it. Welcome back, folks. Adrian Longori with SAW Wrestling with the current tag team title champs, Kerry Offal and Nick Iggy. How are you doing? You see, Team IOU has a big match tonight against the Untouchables. But, gentlemen, you're coming into the sawmill. This is Team IOU country, and we're the champions. The only thing you're not going to touch is this big gold belt around our waist. Tell them, Iggy. <laughs> You know, the Untouchables, you guys are experienced, you guys have been around the block where we want to be, but tonight this is our house, our titles, our people. You have to go up against the Sawmills champions, and I know you say we look like everyone that's watching this, everyone at home, everyone sitting there, and that's because the people are one of us. We are one of the people. They are the most important member of Team I.O.U. Ladies and gentlemen, the current tag team champions Right here, you heard it direct from them. This time, led by none other than Vegas' own Jimmy Street, the team of Drew Haskins, Jeremiah Plunkett, the Untouchables! Well, the Untouchables make their way out to the ring. Here at Southern All-Star Wrestling.
the gun, Jason James. Well, it's already been a heck of a broadcast, and this is guaranteed to be a mad classic right here. Southern Tag Titles on the line, the Untouchables. Drew Haskins, Jeremiah Plunkett against the team of IOU, your Southern Tag champs, Nick Iggy and Kerry Awful. And tell you what, Nick Nitrous, impressive looking tag team. They call the Untouchables. Yes, they are. There's no doubt, Jeremiah Plunkett, Mr. TNA, gut check. Oh, oh Nick Iggy completely tossed over. Oh. Jimmy Street. Well, Jimmy Street on the outside is some kind of high Vegas roller, maybe. I don't know what he is or what he thinks he is. Nonetheless, he's brought these untouchables back here to SAW. First time these two have teamed together, debuting here. And can they steal championship gold? They're looking for it. They're on the hunt, Jason James. Did you see that toss on Nick? Drew Haskins looking pretty impressive in the early going of this contest. As what a broadcast Nick we've already witnessed wow, here in man. NWA Southern All-Star. Uh -huh. So blessed from the other side of the ring, Jason James. Like you were saying, what a what a broadcast we've already seen. We headliner Chris Michaels demanding answers at the start of the broadcast earlier tonight. And what a melee that was. Eric the Dragon Andrews attacked Wolfie D from behind. That's setting up our main event, which is next. For the SMW and Eric Andrews main event for the Christmas Southern Chaos, Jason James, and for the Southern Heavyweight Championship. That contest is next, and what a wild ride it's already been. Man, did you see the solid Reno Riggins earlier tonight from them two as well? Well, definitely lay your hands on Reno Riggins. I guarantee you, there's going to be repercussions to pay if your name is the headliner, Chris what Michaels, or if your name is Eric the Dragon Andrews, for that matter. And you see what he done with Andrews? Stuck him in there with the wolf, Wolfie D, all heavyweight champion. And look at this, just brutal assault on the carry awful. Drew Haskins is showing absolutely zero mercy in this matchup. I'll tell you what, the untouchables are looking pretty decent here tonight at the sawmill. But all you has been here, and they've been fighting, and they'll stay in fight. Haskins now does a great job of getting the referee distracted, able to allow Jeremiah Plunkett to aid in the assist on the outside there. And once again, Haskins, snapmare, sends Awful down, and there's the tag to Jeremiah Plunkett. Plunkett drops that big elbow right into the sternum. Oh, Terry Awful just walks across the face. Cut, Drew took his hand off. What a bomb on a ride. Wait a minute, spits in the face of Nick Iggy, and that's enough to entice him to enter the ring. You know, referee Anthony Wayne doing everything he can to control the action right here tonight. NWA saw. Backbreaker now from Drew Haskins. A lot of quick tags from these two. It's very key to tag team wrestling. You ever thought you might have what it takes to be a professional wrestler? If so, Middle Tennessee, you finally have a qualified professional to teach you everything you need to know. I'm Wolfie D, and I have over 22 years experience inside the squared circle, and I've worked for all the major companies. Whether you're a beginner looking to get started or an indie wrestler looking to step up your game, I can and I will give you the tools to succeed. So don't look back one day and say, I could have been. Make your dreams a reality at Wolfie D's House of Champions. Very awful now with an Irish whip. Reverse now by Drew Haskins. Oh, nearly tore his head off. Once again, just these guys. He's calling for a boot, Jason James. Battering ram. Big boot to the ribs right there by Jeremiah Plunkett. Kerry Offal's not looking too hot right here. They've had him in for better part of the match. Just beat him, Jason he's, he's definitely been taking the brunt of the beating here in this tag team competition for the Southern Tag Team Championship. Oh my goodness, another shot. 
you see. Big name from Jeremiah Puckett. This, this beating is just it's plain awful here, no pun intended. <laughs> None taken, Jason James. Flying headbutt to the back by Drew Haskins. Capitalized, goes for that pad of Connor Roller, but to no avail and a tornado DDT and Haskins goes down. Did you see that? Where did he muster up that kind of energy, Jason James? Well, definitely a desperation move from Kerry Good for that. Iggy. Iggy into the ring with a house of fire and sends Plunkett down. Down goes Haskins and Plunkett caught off guard once again. Look at Nick Iggy, he's coming in the fight. He's straight on fire. He knows those Southern Tag titles are on the line. He doesn't want to give that up here. And right there, you see just the, the numbers game playing effect as Kerry Offel still not able to recover completely on the outside of the ring here. Duncan, the double clothesline. Oh, and he broke the bridge, Jason James. Sends both men face first into one another. Did you see the strength of Jeremiah Plunkett right there? Well, just basically tosses Nick Iggy out of the ring. And Nick Iggy, I believe, may be hurt on the outside as, once again, the numbers game playing the advantage here. He's not moving too well. They have got Kerry Offal in a horrible a predicament here. This. Two three-point stances. The referee lost complete control. Oh, my goodness. These two men just ran a hole right through Kerry Offal. Unbelievable, as you see. Mountain again, they're looking. What tag team cooperation is I've, this? I've wait, a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a Schoolboy attempt in a roll up and it counts. Jason James, it counts. Kerry Offal gets the pin. I cannot believe this. I can't believe it, but did you see that? Unbelievable. Let's take a look here at the Saw Rewind. Just as they were going for that double team maneuver again. Nick Iggy hooks the leg and right there a roll up on that Jeremiah Plunkett. My goodness. We've got a melee in the ring. Nick Nitrous, we've lost control. We need more security on the ringside ASAP. Well, these two men are definitely not happy losing their debut match here in SAW as a tag team. The Untouchables are going to take out their frustration on your tag team champions. Oh, the fighting champions we have, Jason James. Unbelievable. And now, once Wait again, what are they doing? Scout and carry awful. Picks him up. Double team maneuver here from the Untouchables. Oh, my God. This is sick. This is heinous. This is what you're going to get. This is absolutely heinous. We're untouchable. We're really pulling a crowd here tonight, Jason Jones. Well, we've got to go to a quick commercial break, folks. When we come back, Southern Heavyweight Championship on the line, and the assault continues. Look at this. Here we go again. Look at this. Goodness gracious. Over and over. Where's security when we need it? Well, we've got it. They're telling us we got to go to break. When we come back, Southern Southern Heavyweight Championship on the line. Wolfie D defends against Eric the Dragon Andrews. It's coming up next here on NWA Southern All-Star Wrestling. Welcome to SouthernAllStar.com. 65 years of history. Tradition and respect. The 10 pounds of leather and gold is coming to the sawmill.
Welcome back folks, Adrian Longoria with SAW with a special announcement coming January 5th to the Wilson County Fairgrounds. It's the NWA Top Rope Special Event. To tell us all about it, Mike Searcy. Mike, good evening to you. Thank you, Adrian. Lebanon, get ready, because NWA Top Rope comes back with a big event January 5th at Wilson County Fairgrounds. We have already booked for that night Eric the Dragon Andrews. He's going to be taking on Alan Shepard. Also, Chris Michaels returns to Top Rope, along with the Boogie Woogie Boy, Gary Valiant. And of course, some of your champions right here from SAW will be there. One half of the tag team champions, Kerry Offal, will be on the card. We have two other matches that will be announced at ringside. Admission is $10, and we hope to see you there. That's great, folks. Write it down. January 5th, Wilson County Fairgrounds, an NWA top rope event. Don't miss it. Wow, what a show, Jason James. What a show it's been. Well, we got the main event heading your way as we see the challengers. Derek the Dragon Andrews making his way to the ring. Southern Heavyweight Championship on the line. In this one. What a knuckle buster, a barn burner. How do you put it? The action hot and soft. Jason Jones, exactly right. Look at this. Oh, boom, baby, boom. Thunderous suplex from Wolfie D to your challenger, Eric, the Dragon Andrews. This matchup. And Wolf is calling for the top row. Wait a minute. What's this? Hey, Chris Michaels. Wait a minute. Chris Michaels now. Chris Michaels interfering in this match. Chris Michaels. Oh, my goodness. Wolfie D just pulled it off the ring right into that, well that steel cage that's set up here by ringside. And Chris Michaels interfering in this action. I gotta, who's your man in there? Gotta understand, wait a minute. Oh, and Wolfie kicked out. Wolfie D not enough to get the job done. Wolfie D kicks out. I'm appalled right now, but you gotta, you gotta give credit to the referee to continue this matchup after that. That's somewhat of an interference by Chris Michaels. Thank like goodness. Like a assault to mine. Well, he knows these people here in the sawmill. The folks watching around the world don't want to see this matchup end in a disqualification. Possibly being a little bit lenient, and that might have worked to the favor of Eric the Dragon Andrews. Very well could have, Jason James. I can't believe Michaels interfering in this match. Pin attempt now, and only a two count once more. And you're right, maybe the referee was just a touch lenient on that. But Wolfie D's a fighting champion, Jason James, a fighting champion. Well, definitely a disqualification would do no good for Eric Andrews. You have to win the championship by pinfall or submission only. And you hear the crowd get behind Wolfie D, Jason James, right here at the sawmill. Eric 
the Dragon Andrews. Putting those thunderous shoulders into the midsection of Wolfie D. Knocking every ounce of breath out of his lungs, I can guarantee you that much. And you see right here, right in the eyes of Wolfie D. And the referee right on top of the action here tonight in the heavyweight championship match. It's been brewing all night, Jason James. It's been brewing. It has ever since ever since we kicked off the broadcast and Eric Andrews assaulted Wolfie D with that attack from behind. The match was made. Southern Heavyweight Championship on the line. These two men, Wolfie D, Eric the Dragon Andrews, it's happening right now in Millersville. Andrews showboating a little bit here, wasting valuable time. Again, this is a championship matchup. Seems that uh, Eric's got kind of a nonchalant attitude in this contest. He should be trying everything he could to win the SAW gold. Arrogance will get you nowhere in this business. Awful cocky of Eric Andrews not to capitalize on Wolfie Day being down when he had him. Big right hand by our champion. As the two men are going to exchange in the corner. Eric Andrews now draping Wolfie D over that middle rope there. You see, just choking the life out of Wolfie D. And once again, just not even listening to rules here. Toss the rule book out of this one. Eric Andrews doesn't care. Oh! Wolfie D out of the way just in the nick of time. Welcome to SouthernAllStar.com. Once again, what a blockbuster announcement. Next week's going to wow, be. Make man. sure you tune in. Reno Riggins is going to have some answers for everyone's questions next week right here on Southern All-Star Wrestling. Neck breaker now from Wolfie D. Hook of the leg and a two and Champion not able to do it. And you know, Dave Blake assaulted Reno Riggins earlier in the program. Yeah, absolutely, and like I said, I said earlier, you lay hands on Reno Riggins, there are guaranteed to be repercussions to come. And wait a minute, pin attempt, and you see the feet on the ropes, but once more, Wolfie D, a fighting champion. Eric the Dragon, nice bulldog attempt there. Very unorthodox Bulldog, something I haven't seen that one before, but a, nonetheless a two count. Eric Andrews going after a lot of pinfalls here, you can see there is, he's after, he's hungry. He's looking like he's trying to prowl, but I tell you what, don't you ever count out Wolfie D. Well, he may have realized, you know, finally, that there's a lot at stake in this contest. Um, he's tried it all. SAW Southern Heavyweight Championship on the line. Eric Andrews looking for that maneuver. He double underhook and Wait a minute. Wolfie powers out. That buddy drop from Wolfie D. They're wolfing up here at the sawmill and Wolfie D. But wait a minute, Jason James. What is it again? And for the second time, Chris Michaels has interfered in this matchup. Wait a minute. Is that Reno Riggins? Well, Reno Riggins is back out here. And well, he's kicking the headliner out. He's sending it to the back, Jason. with a loaded fist. Had that chain wrapped around the head. I don't know if you saw it, Nitrous. He had that steel chain wrapped around the head. Something. I don't know what it was, Jason James. Did you get Wait a minute. Look. You cannot tell me this in the way. Oh, no. Oh. Reno Riggins just pulled the referee. Did you see that? Reno Riggins just pulled the That's what you get when you mess with Reno Riggins. What payback right here. What? Christmas chaos. What has gotten into Riggins? I've never seen this before. Reno oh, Riggins with a... Eric Andrews just spit on Reno Riggins. Oh, oh what a justice. Wolfie D's got him up. Yeah. He's calling for it, Jason James. He nails it. Wolfie D hits it. Hit a tail two. That's going to go. Christmas oh, Chaos! Well, no, did you hear that from Reno Reeves? Don't get a word with him, Jason James! 
DVD on Grim. Make sure you're here next week. Same time, same channel. Right. That big announcement from Rito Riggins concerning the SAW International Heavyweight Championship. For Nick Nitrous, I'm Jason James. We're out of time. See you later.